Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to the video today. We are going to take a step away from some of the other games that I've been playing that I do need to finish, but I want to check out this game here that uh, I believe was recommended by one of you. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but uh, the game is called Derealization, and I did a little bit of a, you know, got a few minutes into the game. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll check this out. I'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now while we're watching, if you decide that you like it and you want to see more, go ahead and smack the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and to turn on your bell notification that we always know when I'm going live or uploading new content. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get into this, we're going to play a bit of it, uh, and then if I decide I like it, if you guys decide you like it, we will continue this series. But for now, let's just check it out. I like the music that's going on. And uh, we're starting to see a picture of something here. It's a phone. Okay. All right. Better answer that. Oh. Okay. Here we are. We're in a car. All right. I have no idea how to tell this story. I thought it was on the floor. It's actually okay. I see where it is. Gotcha. Gotcha. Anyway. Anyway. Let's get back into it here. Let's go. I don't even know how to start it. Oh shit, he's fucked up. I guess I can use one of these classic story beginnings like... It was the best of terrible times. Or... I could just tell you who I am. And what this is all about. But as of now, none of it makes any sense. He is jacked up. Not for me at least. Damn. If you're going to listen to my story by connecting your moral code to it, then don't. Ooh, he's popping his finger back into place or something. Oh, ouch. Okay, all right. Anyway, after an hour or so, you'll want to stop. So it's better not to start. It's better to watch some funny videos on the internet. Or if you have plenty of free time, sign up for evening courses. Learn to embroider. Give yourself the pleasure of cooking a delicious dinner and dye your hair for fun. What I'm going to tell, you may not like it. The person I am is not a positive character. Hell, oh, it's hard to even call me an anti-hero. Is it possible to feel empathy for such a character? Is it possible to empathize with a person who doesn't learn from his mistakes? My name is Jake, and I'm a lost cause. But, if you're still here, then I'm sure you want to hear this story. Right? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course, Jake. I want to hear your story. Yeah, of course I'm 18. I'm way older than that. Alright then. Let me tell you about the year I spent in Steelport. And how my crumbling life was. Ended. I think it said ended. It had a whole bunch of words that flashed right there. Uh, but I caught the word ended. There's something in the road up there. Oh, shit. Okay. He hit a person. Not good. That's uh, not a good way to start. <laughs> okay. She does not look alive. What's he gonna do? I'm not even gonna check to see if she's breathing. Oh shit, he's just dragging her off the road. What the fuck? Is he about to go hide her or something? That's not good. Good stories are based on intrigue, right? Um, okay, I mean, you, you got me. I'm intrigued. I want to know what's going on in your life, man. I want to know how you got to that point. Alright, Jake. You've got me. Tell me more. All right, the first month, new problems, same solutions. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Does my whole body ache? Oh hell. Oh, what time is it? Shit. Oh fuck. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Alright, Jake. Come on, what's going on here? Alright, he's having a bad morning. Fuck! Ah. Oh. oh, he stepped his toe. That's the worst. Damn you! Don't, D Jake, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what? Uh, no, yep, he tripped over the suitcase. And down the stairs we go. Jesus Christ. This guy. Alright, alright. Alright, uh, he's still alive. Everything's good. Hopefully, no bones are broken. Sweet mother of God. Ah, oh, right. What could be better in the morning than falling down the stairs with a hangover? Oh, if only I broke my neck in the fall. That would be a death worthy of me. Fucking cramp. Oh, fuck. Oh, somebody's here. Hmm. Morning. Mm. Right. Uh, well... How did you sleep? Well, you know... Like a teenage girl who's been hanging out all night. And, uh... How did everything go? Not bad for the most part. In any case, everyone was satisfied. Thank you for letting me use your apartment for this. It's really sweet of you. You're very welcome. And how was your night? I hope you didn't make too much noise. Nah, I was sleeping like a baby. And what the hell is this? This is Rosanna. Yesterday when you came home drunk, you promised to cook us some of the best curry our taste buds would ever experience. Then you stabbed her, got scared of something, and went to your room. Let's see. Can you at least tell me where such generosity came from? Why now? What do you mean by that? You are the person who signed my call book as Uncle Douche, and you just allowed a crowd of spermatoxic teenagers to have a party at your house. You have a call book? Oh, piss off. I asked a question. I guess I just don't want to be alone this weekend. What do you mean? Was this particular weekend special or something? It's probably just some kind of midlife crisis thing. Hey, acceptance is a first step to solving a problem. Yeah. Okay, Doc. I take it you're not planning on cleaning up, huh? What for? What do you mean, what for? Because of this. This. And this. Were you raised in a barn? This is disgusting. I don't have the time to clean this up all by myself. It's not like I'm going to clean up after you in the first place. It's the principle of the matter. I mean, come on. Look at this. It's just... Unethical. Unethical, huh? It's funny hearing someone like you say that. Unless you're coming from you. A man who got so shit-faced that I can't even remember anything from last night. Shit. Did I do something inappropriate last night? Oh, you mean something rather than stabbing a chicken with a knife? No. Well, that's a relief. Although, I will know that you promised to drive some dude's teeth down his throat. Oh, fuck. Did I at least have a good reason for that? He said the 80s were the worst team the state had ever seen. But... They are. And you flat out disagreed with that. What? Why would I disagree with that? The 80s sucks. That's a fact. I know. But you kept on insisting that even outsiders should be treated with respect. Oh, fuck. Anything else? Oh, and you also tried to grow up some girls. Mm. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, no. Please, no. <laughs> okay, alright. She just wanted to see his reaction. I was just joking. Okay, that's good. Or, oh shit. 
Or was I? I'm sorry, G. I... Uh, these new pills. They mix lousy with alcohol. No way! Pills designed to make you stop drinking are shitty when mixed with alcohol? What a shame. They're not... Uh, you're exaggerating. Whatever. I have to go. Well, where to? To school. Where else? To school? Like this? Well, duh. Welcome to the future, old man. Christ. How do I look? Do I really need to answer that? Rude. Oh, somebody's knocking. What do we get? Finally. Yeah, it must be her boyfriend or something. Okay. Hey. Hey. Is this some friend of yours? Oh, hey, mister. Mister, late for work or whatever. Let's go or we'll be late. Okay, I guess she does not want him to meet old Jake in there. Alright. Good luck at school. Or whatever. Really? Oh, what the hell did you plan on doing with this chicken? The hell if I know. I think she said the best curry their taste buds will ever experience. Did you even know what curry is? I bet it's just some form of chicken with rice. Or a fried potato. Um, I don't give a shit. How do you not know what curry is? Wait. Why are you naked? What? You don't like it? Oh, come on. Don't make that face of yours. What are we doing? I'm assuming he's getting ready for the day. I don't know what's going on right now. Just a regular morning routine. So, are we going out or are you going to take your pills? Hmm. It's obvious that she's not really there. Alright. We're out and about. Out on the town. And she is with him. So where are we going? Hey, over. Uh, do you copy? Hey, Ralphie. Uh, Ralphie has some nice legs. So I'm assuming Ralphie is maybe uh, a girl? Or just a, a dude with some nice smooth legs. I don't know. How's old Paul doing? I'm gonna assume Ralphie's just a, a, a girl. He's doing pretty good. Now that's nice to hear. I'll need him and his crew by this evening. Can you remind him of that when you see him? Okay. Thanks, Ralph. Or maybe it's a dude. Maybe it's a dude. Really, Jake? Are you going to ignore me? Not the wisest decision on your part. Look, we already discussed this. Don't talk to me in public. I'll look like a total nutcase. I think it's too late for that. <laughs> Mom? Wait a sec. What happened, dear? What is he doing over there? Honey, I'm a little busy. Looks like she had some uh, burns or something on her neck. Yeah. It's like she looks like she's burned on her neck and hands. I don't uh, possibly. I don't know. Hey, I'll call you back. He's um. No, you listen to me. Would you shut up for a second? Maybe he's also practicing for a theater club like you. Oh. Okay, she bought it. But you are in that case, Jake. Why don't you take the pills then? If I'm bothering you so much, he didn't take his pills. You gotta take your pills. Hey, if you if you got pills, if you got a prescription, take them. If you think you're better and you don't need them, you think you're better because you're taking your pills. Just keep taking the damn pills. Anyway, anyway, back back to the game here. Back to the task at hand. Do you still feel something for me? Or perhaps you still feel guilty? Hmm, guilty for what? I wonder. Oh, Jake, that's so sweet. There, there. Come here, let me comfort you. I'm sorry, Jake. Come on, let's hug. Just like in the old days. Oh, oh huh? <laughs> there you go. 
That's one way to get rid of her. I don't think it'll work. Jake, honey, are you okay? Oh, hey, Mary Lee. Everything's fine. I just, um... Uh, I heard you were leaving town. Going to Stillport? Good luck on the road. Wish him luck, Lisa. Good luck, Jake. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Alright, you take care of yourself there, okay? I will, thanks. See you, Jake. Fuck! Why, what happened? Probably he just realized that they saw him talking to himself. Alright. Where are we going now? And she's back. You fucking idiot. Maybe you should start collecting money for the show you're putting on. Yeah, that's why I said it. You know, like a clown. It's a nice little routine. Where are we going? Where are we going? That's what I want to know. Okay, we're going to either someone's house or... Have you counted the number of times you've come here already? No. Because today will make exactly one year. One whole year, Jake. And I'm still here. I mean, aren't we having fun, you and I? Because I think we kind of are. Sweetie? Hey. You do realize that no one will fix you, right? No one. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, I think that's a good introduction to the game. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know if this will become a series. If you guys want to see more of it, let me know. I played it because uh, one of you recommended it. I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see if it's worth it. I do think the premise starting out is pretty interesting. I'd like to see where it goes, um, but I want your opinion too, so let me know. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like I said before, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.